Good morning, it's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 18th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can uh, certainly download the app at www.tradesignal.com or you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see exactly where mar US markets, or should we say uh, Asian markets, and then European markets, obviously, this is an Asian mar European market video. Let's see exactly where we're headed. Now, uh, U.S. equities powered to new highs overnight. Again, I've been stopped out of my shorts, certainly expecting a potential top, and that certainly hasn't transpired. Certainly stopped out quite an impressive spike on U.S. equities. You've got the S&P now hitting 2690, the uh, Nasdaq breaking through 6500, the Dow Jones approaching 25,000. Very, very impressive. Okay, so again, uh, U.S. equities certainly very, very bullish at present. Okay, certainly moving higher. In terms of um, Asian markets, lacklustre there. The only uh, index that actually moved higher was the Nikkei, up 1.5%. The uh, Shanghai, more or less flat. Hang Seng, up 0.7%. So not exactly bullish, let's put it that way. Okay. Now let's see if this uh, rally can actually continue. We've got the FTSE up, uh, up to 7.545 before it reversed. Uh, the DAX and the uh, CAC and the Euro stock certainly pushing higher as well the CAC, uh, euro stocks breaking through that 3600 now okay now let's look at the actual uh, fundamental news flow there in terms of um, today uh, nothing major really you've had um, uh, japanese exports overnight slightly better than expected what imports certainly dropped and that's certainly negative europe and the world in and of itself in terms of europe this morning you've had uh, italian trade balance slightly better than expected uh, you've had uh, inflation numbers from uh, from Europe coming out slightly weaker on the weaker side okay so certainly uh, depressing there in terms of uh, the rest of the day you've got CBI days from the UK and that's about it really nothing major uh, I think the real focus today will be obviously uh, tax progress and number two we've got the the likes of um, Mr Trump Okay, so uh, certainly have uh, potential news with regards to Trump. Uh, he has a uh, speech regarding Korea. So President Trump's strategy will say North Korea being able to uh, deliver launch missile attacks with chemical and biomedical uh, bioweapons. Okay, that certainly is negative. Any reference to North Korea certainly is risk off. Also, uh, the uh, the idiot is supposed to uh, uh, certainly give a speech uh, claiming that China and Russia are determined to make economies less free and less fair, and therefore they are potential enemies. Okay, and that certainly isn't a good because it indicates a trade war and therefore it's written risk off for the American economy. Although it is on a sugar high at the moment with the tax cuts obviously helping corporations, but that's not really going to translate into economic growth and improvement down the road. Okay, so let's move on to the technical picture now that we've uh, finished talking about that imbecile. Okay, in terms of um, European indices then, okay, let's start with the uh, the German DAX, okay, with it, with it being the leader. You can see the 10-minute uh, chart, certainly very impressive. This uh, very, very impressive gap higher today. You had 13,100 close yesterday, and now we've obviously gapped out to 13,300. 60-minute chart on the Dow, very, very impressive. Again, like you see, the uh, symmetrical wedge formation certainly seems to have broken higher. Uh, German DAX certainly remains on a bullish path at the moment. In terms of resistance, you do have previous support. You could have resistance here. It's, uh, 13,350, you really are in no man's land now uh, with regards to that. You can take a potential uh, trend line if you wanted to, uh, again, your potential resistance here based on that trend line. But given the fact that we've already gaps higher almost 100 and um, almost 200 points now on the German DAX, it certainly seems to be exhausted to a large extent. So bear that in mind, okay? In terms of the daily chart, let's just recall the daily chart, the German DAX, again, we're still making that right shoulder. So even though U.S. equities certainly have pushed higher, European equities certainly remain uh, subdued. Okay, so just bear that in mind in terms of the uh, technical picture. Uh, if you cross-reference that with the MDAX 50, yes, we've bounced off potential support. So certainly expected there. Tech all share, again, no new real highs. Certainly isn't following the NASDAQ higher. So again, that certainly is a bearish sign for the NASDAQ itself. In terms of French CAC, looking at the daily chart, first and foremost, again, remains subdued, not still not breaking out that key right shoulder resistance, that FIB61. Therefore, bias remains buried for me in European indices. 60-minute chart, again, we bounced off support, but we are now oscillating between support and resistance. That's a 5420, so watch out there. In terms of Euro stocks, as I quickly go on to there before we move on to the FTSE 100. So Euro stocks certainly coming into uh, turbulence now. Into resistance on 60 minute chart, we've had a, almost a 40 point gap higher rally, which is very impressive. Again, 60 minute chart indicating resistance. If you take the pivot highs from here, 
to here, you are now potentially hitting resistance on the euro stocks with an unfilled gap at 3560 below. So watch out there. In terms of the FTSE 100 then, so impressive thrust today. Uh, you certainly seem to have stalled around that 7540 zone, so again indicating risk aversion. 60 minute chart, you have uh, resistance here at 7540, so watch out there in terms of the, um, the FTSE itself. A 10 minute chart, certainly a double top scenario, certainly a, an area that I'll have you more than happy to uh, potentially short if we uh, do go up to 7540 again. So watch out for 7540 in the FTSE. And again, you have 7490 gap fill resistance below. So certainly seem to have held previous resistance equal support of 7510 on the FTSE pretty impressively. Okay, let's see if that can continue. And again, bear in mind you have that unfilled gap in double top resistance 7540 and 7490 gap fill. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.